How do you feel about divorce? It's an evil of our times, or sometimes it's a necessary step. Both. Sometimes it is a necessary step. But only sometimes. I like the way that's phrased, actually. I think it's necessary sometimes. My parents are divorced, and I think it suited them to get divorced. They were not happy together, and them not being happy together meant that the people around them weren't happy. You know, if it's for the best, it's for the best. Because, um, you know, there's nothing worse than a toxic relationship. Why would you say both? Why would you say it's an evil of our times? <laughs> it's a horrible thing for any family to have to go through. I'm sure neither parties wanted, wanted the relationship to end up this way. And it's, sometimes it's a necessary step. Even though as, as, Christ, as a Christian and, you know, generally Christians, we don't believe in divorce. Oftentimes you may need to separate if there is a need for it. Maybe one of the partners is being abusive or being violent or something. I don't think anyone should be in a marriage they're unhappy with. I mean, 30, 40 years ago, you were in a happy marriage. If your husband was beating you or whatever, Mr. you stayed, you know, it's, that's just the way it was, mm. you know. Being um, a spinster wasn't an option either as a woman. Like, if you weren't married by the time you were 23, 24, you were written off, so you had to get married. And I imagine a lot of them ended up in yeah. marriages. A lot of people say, like, oh, but they're married, they can't. No, they're still just two people. Those two people didn't actually become one when they put rings on each other's fingers. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think you should try work everything out, like, go counsellors, um, everything. And just as a last resort, like, I think it should be. Absolutely. Yep. I mean, Crimes. if something doesn't work out, why would you be trapped? No. It's, that's just nonsense. It's absolutely necessary. We agree. Hey! Let's get a divorce. <laughs> How do you feel about marriage? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifelong dream. It's not for me. It's a piece of paper. Marriage. It's not for me. <laughs> I think it's, it's, a, it's a piece of paper. It is just a piece of paper. It is a piece of paper. Meh. We're kind of meh. Yeah. I think it's an important thing. Yeah. We kind of disagree on that one. Yeah, I'm just suspicious of institutions like all postmodernists. <laughs> I would love to be with someone I can see me growing old together with. Yeah, it's a lifelong dream. Absolutely. I won't be one of these people that never gets married. They want to get married, but like... Yeah. At the end of the day, it is a piece of paper, really, isn't it? So, I don't know. Yeah, it's not something that I was dreaming of all my life, but something Me neither. I'm happy to have done. There are a lot of girls out there that dream about the day that they're, they dream of their wedding, you know, since they're yeah. about like five years old. Yeah. But I've never been one of those girls. <laughs> yeah. But I do think, hmm. I wouldn't say it's a lifelong dream. Hmm. But I think it is more than a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think there are a lot of benefits to marriage um, but I also feel like it's sort of a societal pressure that we can just get swept into without fully under understanding really what a marriage means. I personally wouldn't mind. Myself and himself have talked about that before as well and <laughs> we basically came to the conclusion if we did get married it would be for everybody else. So it'd be for our families. Marriage really is kind of becoming more of a, like a big session. Like everyone just turns up for the session and the meal and the dance and the free stuff. I think it's fantastic, yeah. It's definitely feel like our relationship is stronger for it, definitely. Yeah. Even, even if we are still technically in honeymoon period or that, but uh, <laughs> I'd do it again, it was, it was great. With the same one. With the same one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Could you be happy not having children? No. Yeah. No. No, I'd love to have kids, I have to say. No. Not now. No. Definitely. No. When you have them, you know it. Yeah. You wouldn't go back. Um, probably no for me. No, Coming from like a big family. Yeah, you'd want children. Yeah. There's always Definitely. someone in the house. Yeah. yeah. I like being the auntie. Because I've got Lily. And I love her to death. But a full day of her. And I'm like, take her home, please. I do think I would, could be happy without having children. But I don't know if that's just because I'm 23 and I'd be supposed to be 
too selfish to have a kid and stop me from nights out and working and stuff like that. But maybe when I'm a little bit older and if I have a partner and stuff like that, maybe. I was told I couldn't have children. And now I have one. And I couldn't imagine my life without her. She is just the best person I've ever met. And she's even with her being so small, she has so much personality and so much character. When you die, you want to leave something. And if you don't have any kids or stuff like that, like who, who's there to remember you or continue on your family? So if you don't have kids, your family's not going to last too long, is it? So I do not want to pass my genes down to anyone else. No. I mean, best case scenario, you get another me. Nobody needs that. Nobody the does. The world does not need that, no. you know? I'm actually in, unsure at the moment. Well, actually, not at the moment, for a while, if I want to have kids. So I've looked into getting my eggs frozen in the next few years in case I... Because I don't see kids in the next five years at all. If I didn't, if, if the doctor turned around to me tomorrow and said, you can't have kids, I think that's OK. Really? I'd, I'd, I'd be I'd, devastated if I think, the doctor said, well, like, I'd, like. I'd be a little bit kind of, hmm, meh, hmm. But I think I'd, I, I'd live on, like I'd be okay. I wouldn't be thinking about it every day. No, I don't think I could. I, I love my child. I'm, I hope I'll have more at some stage. I've always had the fear of, oh, God, can I have kids? Because I don't know whether I'd be able to. If I got an implant in my back, would I be able to? I don't know. If my back is too bad, would I be able to carry a child? I don't know. And I think that's what's making me want a kid even more is because there's a possibility that I might not be able to. Like a lot of people say they're happier when they have kids. No, I want kids. So I'm going to say that um, I wouldn't be happy not having kids. When you project yourself into the future, how do you see yourself? Married or in a civil partnership with children on my own, with children, in a relationship with no children. Married. Yes. With married with children. Preferably. Well. Married with children. Married with children, we're there. So <laughs> we are there. Yeah, I see myself married. With children. I've always imagined myself as on, on, on my own to a certain point, you know? I kind of, I want to travel, I want to explore, and these are the kind of things I need to do on my own. In a relationship. For the most part, I see just a relationship. More than likely in a relationship. Um, if it's future in five years without kids, future in 10 years or 15 years, more than likely with children. I do have kids. I do have a child, so I can still see her in my future. I'd say married or in a civil relationship with children. Married with children, yeah. Say married with children, yeah. It's kind of hard to imagine, but it's what I'd like, I'd say. Ideally, yeah. I well, think, I think if I looked at myself in the 40, 40 or 50 age bracket, I'd like to be married with kids. Like, Yeah, I'd be the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I want to go through my 20s without having kids. I think well, as soon as I'm going to be 30s, I'd like to have kids then. Probably in a relationship, married, maybe with children. But, like, in a relationship, I think that, like, I do eventually want to settle down with someone. And children, I don't know. I think I'd be happy enough with a pug. I think I'd be happy enough with a dog, like...